In this video, I will show you on how to perform main engine crankshaft deflection. When the engine is in stop condition, main engine lubricating oil pump have to be stopped and the breaker taken out so that it doesn't start on its own or by any other person by mistake. Proper sign and placards to be displayed regarding men at work. After stopping engine and lubricating oil pump, the crankcase doors have to be opened and sufficient time is to be given to cool and ventilate the space as the temperature inside is very hot and deprived of air. After cooling and ventilating the space, the person entering the space should be with proper personal protective equipment. Let's do a change transition in 3, 2, 1. Pagkukuha tayo ng deflection, mas ideal kung mas malapit ang temperature ng ating crankcase temperature sa ating reference deflection temperature. Make sure there are no tools, pen, etc. in your pockets which might drop inside and cause damage to bearing and machinery parts. The instrument used for measuring the crankshaft deflections is known as a dial gauge or clock gauge. Kapag newly built ang barko at bagong install ang ating makina, a set of deflections are taken at itinatawag itong reference deflections. Para saan nga ba bakit kumukuha ng crankshaft deflection? Crankshaft deflections are taken to check the alignment of the engine crankshaft in the bed plate and its alignment with the intermediate shaft and propeller shaft. To check the alignment of the crankshaft, check the wear of the crankshaft main bearings. Taking crankshaft deflections measures any bend or misalignment of the crankshaft. Meron tayong makikita ang slot or markings kung saan natin dapat ilagay ang ating clock gauge. At dito natin ito ilalagay sa pagitan ng crank web. The deflection between the crank webs at particular reference points is measured as the engine is slowly turned. Mag-uumpos na tayo ng bottom port. Pag nailagay na natin na maayos ang ating clock gauge sa ating crank web, ay pwede na natin ikutin ang ating crankshaft ng clockwise direction. Dapat tuloy-tuloy ang ikot ng ating crankshaft habang nire-readingan natin ito. At yung reading natin, i-divide lang natin siya sa 100. Port. Pag positive value ang ating nakuha, ibig sabihin, 
meron tayong pabuka na crank web Kapag naman negative, isabihin pasara or paliit ang web deflection. Tap. Ang gamit ko nga pala dito ay raincoat kaya medyo mainit pero okay lang kaysa maligo ako ng langis. Naubusan kasi ako ng supply ng disposable boiler suit. Starboard and bottom starboard. At pagkatapos, uulit-ulitin lang natin hanggang makuha na natin lahat ng cylinders. After natin makuhanan, insert natin sa form and evaluate natin ang ating reading. Igumpara natin ang ating readings sa previous readings and sa ating reference deflection. Once na-check natin ang ating reading at meron tayo nakitang difference between our readings and our reference reading, mag-try tayong mag-troubleshoot kung bakit lumaki or lumiit ang reading ng ating deflections. Maaaring dahil meron tayong worn bearings or misaligned bearings or may maluwag sa ating holding down bolts. When the loose holding down bolt is tightened, it may induce local distortion in the bed plate affecting the crankshaft alignment. Worn bearings are a common cause of high crankshaft deflection. Misaligned bearings, either high or low, may cause high crankshaft deflection. Other factors kung bakit meron tayong difference sa ating reading is due to number one, human error mali ang pagkuha ng ating deflection. Number two, eccentric journal. A bearing journal may be eccentric due to an even wear. Number three, floating journal. A bearing journal may not be seated on its bearing seat correctly and be floating. Pwede rin naman na hot day or cold sea. It is possible for a hot sunny day to cause the deck to expand and go into tension or the cold sea caused the keel to contract going into compression. So makaka-apekto rin ang temperature ng ating surroundings. O di kaya naman due to hugging and sagging ng ating barko. Kaya dapat kapag kukuha tayo ng deflection as much as possible even kill ang ating barko. Before coming out, make sure there is nothing left inside. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.
Thank you for watching. Bye bye.